Hello, my name is Sean Geddes from Flamin Sales. I'm here today with Louis Villeneuve from Edge Agro to go over the features and benefits of the Edge Agro Auger. Thanks, Sean, for coming. Let's start with the hopper here. So it's a plastic hopper with a low profile, a rubber uh, skirt kit to help with the lower hopper bottom bins so that even though the diameter of the auger is much bigger than some of them, they still can uh, you know, access the very low hopper bottoms. It's a traditional hub at the bottom, but there's a, a slide gate to clean it up. So you put the, the gearbox on reverse and you can easily clean the auger. One of the things that's nice with the Edge Agro auger is the diesel engine. You don't need to rev up the engine super high. So the flighting actually turns at an RPM that doesn't let the grain churn and, and splash, right? You get often uh, a lot of splash so on the left side. More of just a, a flow. That's right, exactly. Moving up to uh, the bearing hanger. So that's one of the proprietary feature of the Edge Agro Auger. The uh, flighting is balanced and suspended inside the tubing. So at no point throughout the auger is the uh, flighting touching the tubing. So that does two things. The first thing is obvious, it, there's no rubbing. So there's no heating, there's no uh, wearing down because of metal to metal contact. You know, it's amazing how much uh, stuff lasts when it's not rubbing. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> metal to metal. Uh, so that, that extends the life of the, of the flighting quite a bit. What it does is it reduces the uh, vibration when the uh, auger is operating. As everybody knows, when there's grain in the, in the tube, it's less of a problem, but it's before and after. The Edge Agro auger is extremely quiet compared to you know, other, other augers of, of the same size, absolutely. Uh, what can you tell me, Louis, about handling different commodities, sensitive commodities, fertilizer, let alone just canola and wheat? Yes, yes. So that's, a, that's a, a side effect, so to speak, of the suspended flighting. The result is it's always product on product. So it's extremely gentle on pulse crops and, and oil seeds. It's a 56 horse turbo diesel engine. The nice thing is uh, it's a tier four final to achieve with this catalytic converter here only. So there's no death urea you know, those uh, costly maintenance items. One of the features that uh, we really like with this engine is it comes with a recirculating block heater. So you can start it in cold temperature, which is <laughs> mostly, you know. We very see some much, of that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Really appreciated. The hot uh, engine is serviced and warranted by Cummins sales and services here in, in Western Canada. So um, there is, since there's depots pretty much, you know, all around Western Canada, it's a very easily serviceable uh, engine. It's a very easily serviceable uh, engine. What kind of warranty is on the engine? The engine is warranty 2000 hours uh, and two years. Two years, yeah, okay. Yeah. Whichever comes from comes first. Let's have a look at the other side because I think there's some other interesting features of that engine. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So uh, because of the uh, power and torque that we talked about for this engine, uh, the electric clutch is just not appropriate for, for that type of, of power. What we uh, came up with is a heavy duty manual clutch. So a twin disc, like we said, not as hard on the, on the whole transmission, but it also allows the producer to feather in in case, uh, you know, an emergency stop. So there's enough torque and power in that engine to actually start loaded. Is there any glow plugs or anything like that to assist if? Yeah, so it does have with the controller, uh, thermostatically controlled glow plugs. So depending on the temperature, it will cycle the glow plugs longer or shorter. I guess the controls are just, yeah. they're pretty standard um, <laughs> auger controls. I'm just not exactly sure what this is. Oh, we put this one to help uh, um, regulate the speed, you know, so that if you're going across the yard, you can go like full bore basically. And then when you come closer to the bin and it's a little more touchy, uh, you can slow down. down the speed and then, you know, approach the bin uh, slower. It's interesting, Louis, with the auger engaged uh, and 
you're just demonstrating the lack of resistance there is yeah, yeah, just due exactly. to the hangar bearing uh, That's right. setup. So this is a 14 inch uh, flighting and I'm able to basically uh, turn the entire auger just with my hands like this. On so Louis, I see there's, you have a number of standard features up here that customers come to enjoy. You have reversible gearbox. Absolutely, yes. You have three LED lights yes. uh, that light up the hopper area, the engine area, and the discharge area. Right. Can you tell me about uh, capacity? Yes, yeah, so um, the 1242 will, will have a capacity of about 11,000 bushels an hour. Uh, obviously, it, it varies with different crops, obviously. Uh, and the 14 will have a capacity of about 14,000 bushels an hour. You know, I've heard more, but you know, it's a good, it's a good gauge. What kind of life expectancy can a customer expect to get out of a tube and flight or the entire unit? <laughs> yeah, well, that's a very good question, Sean. Uh, yes, w what, we, what we actually try to do with the Edge Agro Auger is not have a disposable product. We're trying to make a piece of equipment that the farmer can use for a long time, repair, it's worth the repair, you know, that's our philosophy when it comes to the Edge Agro Auger. So um, what we know so far is uh, there is one of the first models that we made that has almost 10 million bushels through it. And then it, it's still, you know, it's still working. So that's... And it, it hasn't had any tube and flight or anything no, like that? No, no still... tube and flight. No, no. There, there was a few, uh, maybe a belt and, and uh, a hub at the bottom that goes after. The diesel engine has a very long life lifespan. Uh, and, and, you know, we're trying to match the auger with the, with the diesel engine. Louis, thanks for the time today to show us around this product. If you have any more questions or interested in purchasing uh, an Edge Agar auger, feel free to reach out to one of your Flamin reps.